Every time I be thinking I done saw it all, I see something else that surprises me. First and foremost, I got a couple kids that I know that are actually like my kids' age that subscribe to me. Um, hey guys, uh, talk to your parents and please skip past this video. All right, just take that from uh, just take that's coming from my heart, man, because you ain't my child, and um, you know. But I'm, I'm going to keep it real and, um, you know, ask your, ask your folks, you know, to, to talk to you about this first before, you know, you hear it from me. Please, young man, I expect you to respect that. They're good kids. I really like them, man. So, yes, I'm going to look out for them. Now that all that is taken care of, I came across a video where a chimp rapes a frog in the mouth. I done been to prison, and um, it was my first time going. I did a couple years. And what they told me in the county before I went to prison, they knew it was my first time. They said, hey, I'm going to give you some advice, Marcus. They said, when you're walking down the tier, uh, just look straight ahead. Don't look to your left into anybody's cell. Well, a couple times I'd hear noises, and I was kind of paranoid, so I'd look over and see some stuff that I could really live without seeing. Well, I'm scrolling on YouTube, and, I, well, I honestly, I couldn't believe the the post my, my buddy uh, put up on there, man. Um, yeah, his real name. Uh, never mind. That that don't matter, man. He got it from his friend. And um, so I'm looking at this, man, and I see the monkey uh, do his business. And uh, all you got to do is type in chimp, rape, frog, and, or chip, yeah, and then you'll, you'll see the video yourself. And, um... You know, the first thing that came to my mind is somebody showed this ape how to do this shit. What the hell's wrong with people in the world, man? All right, now, number one, man, I ain't going to sit up here and fake the funk, man. I got a lot, of, a lot of knowledge, man. And, you know, I read in Leviticus, man. And I'm actually going to dig it up and put it in the description, you know, the exact scripture. I'll probably post it on the screen as I go through to edit this video. Exactly where it says you shouldn't have animals lying with other animals and you shouldn't be sleeping with them yourself. There's a lot of other stuff about sexual morality and who you should be sleeping with and who you shouldn't in that same chapter that people just seem to throw out the window. But you see, that's not the topic at hand. The topic at hand is, should we be teaching monkeys to jack off with live frogs? No, and I hate to say it, man, but... uh. Whoever did that must be having one hell of a life, man. That is an abomination. That is like... How does YouTube allow something like this on YouTube, man? That that ain't right. I don't care what y'all saying about, being, uh, about it being animals. That monkey is not treating that frog like they do it on the Discovery Channel, y'all. Real talk. All right, y'all. So uh, I'm going to research the Honolulu Zoo. This stuff was put out... Uh, back in 2004, okay, um, the life I was living, I had really nothing to do with the Internet in 2004, so I don't know nothing about it, but I'm kind of wondering why nobody made a big deal about this. That's animal abuse. All right, so the chimp goes to the zoo to get raised by somebody who's supposed to take care of him and provide a safe environment for the chimp. Okay, so somewhere along the lines, the chimp gets exposed to something that ain't right, to learn to pry open a, a bullfrog's mouth and stick his penis in the bullfrog's mouth and start getting off just in front of everybody like it ain't nothing. All right, y'all, that's not enough. On top of that, in the video, you hear people sitting there recording uh, in awe at what this uh, animal is doing right there along with their children, Okay. Now, I'm sorry, but uh, the first thing I would do is tell my wife we got to get the girls to move around, and I'd be asking the people who run the zoo what the hell is going on with the operation. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of a visionary, and I have this vision of one day we'll have a world where, you know, people are actually accountable for the fucked up shit they do in this world. Man, you know, uh, you guys might think some of the comments I said was funny, man, but really this bothers me. This really, really, really bothers me. So I just want to say, Planet Earth, uh, 
you guys never cease to amaze me. The more and more and more I look at planet Earth and everybody that I live with in this world, you know, from the neighborhood of Las Colinas to back home in Minnesota to everywhere I've been in the United States and everywhere I haven't been outside of the United States, I am impressed by good stand-up people, and I am kind of shook by people who seem to have no morals whatsoever and wonder what type of life they live, really. I'm not talking bad about you because you can only do what you was taught. But there has to be there has to be a certain point in your life where you decide what's right and wrong and you decide what it is you're going to be in the world. And don't get mad at me because I'm talking about you and you do the wrong thing. Maybe you enjoy seeing animals rape each other and maybe you enjoy seeing a chimp uh, masturbate with the frog, live frog's mouth, myself, and probably a million other motherfuckers think you are a sick individual if that is the case. I think that we should uh, research this, not only me, but the rest of you guys watching this to see what's really going on at the Honolulu Zoo. If anybody else knows anything about this case, I'm going to start digging in my computer and find it. And, um, yeah. Yeah. I thought I'd seen it all, man. I'm about to leave the computer alone. I already quit fucking with TV. Hey, man. There's something about this, man. The world needs to put their stuff in check, man. If that means you, then do it, man. It's all up to you, man. Well, how are you going to leave this world for your kids, man? And, you know, the truth hurts. But the shoe fits, lace it up. And if it makes you look ugly, get a makeover. I'm E.B. I'm 